Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be learning about how we can actually reset the user's password inside our .NET Web API with identity. If you like this video and you'd like to learn more about .NET, AWS and Azure, please make sure you subscribe and like this video. Now let's jump into it. So what I have here is I have a sample web application which contain basically two main controller an authentication and the deems controller and inside this application we have the normal stuff from registration to email verification to logging in and if i go to my web browser as we can see here i have my application up and running and i'm able to see all of the different endpoints that currently exist so what i want to do is i want to add two new endpoints which is going to be utilized for password resets so right now i'm just gonna just to make sure that everything is working just gonna put my name email and my password and now we should be able to see that I got a request to verify my email and we can see here I got the verification code. If you want to learn more about this and email verification, I already did a video about this. I'll make sure to link it here somewhere or in the description down below. So now if I want to verify my email, we can add the code here and I can get the email that I just utilized and I click on execute and now we can see my email is confirmed. Lastly, I can now log in. So I can just take the same credentials that I have here and I can click on execute and I should get my JWT token. Let's remove the breaking point and let's go back and we can see here I got my JWT token. Okay, great. So now what I want to do is I want to actually implement the password reset functionality. So if we go back to Rider, what I want to do here is I'm going to stop my application and I'm going to start by adding two new endpoints. Let me just minimize all of this and I'm going to add the endpoints here. The first one, we're going to put the root for it, which is going to be forgot password. And this one is going to be a HTTP post and it's going to be also public, async task, I action result. And I'm going to call it forgot password and it's going to take the forgot password DTO. I don't have this now. I'm going to create it. I'm going to put here request. So now before we do anything else, I'm just going to create my DTO. So inside my models, my DTOs, I'm just going to create it here. I'm going to call this request forgot password. Perfect. So now all I'm going to ask from here is a simple email address. I'm going to make it as a string and I'm going to make it email and I'm going to initialize it to empty. Great. So now here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to update this and now I'm going to utilize it inside here. So first of all, I need to verify my request. So I'm going to put if model state dot is valid. I'm going to return it. I'm going to continue to utilize it else I'm just going to return bad request and I'm going to return invalid payload. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to verify that the user is actually there. So I'm going to put validate user I'm going to put var user equal await underscore user manager find by email. And we're going to put request email. I'm going to say if user equal equal null, which means it does not exist, then I'm going to return a bad request, same invalid payload. I don't want to give a lot of information. I just want to give enough information. So the next thing what I want to do is now we know that the user exists and it has all of the information that I need. Now I need to generate a password reset token. So I'm going to put var token equal await user manager dot generate password reset token async. And I'm going to pass here my user that I just got. Perfect. So now, first of all, I need to check if this token is not empty. So I'm going to put if string is empty or null for token. So if it is empty or null, I'm going to return turn bad request. I'm going to say something went wrong. Else, what I want to do now is I want to use this token and basically send it back to the user. So now what I'm doing, I'm going to put a callback URL. And this can be, for example, HTTP, I don't know, uh, localhost, whatever the port is. And then I'm going to put here my, let's say, reset password, whatever it is that we're trying to mimic in sending an email. And then here we need to send the code, which is going to be the token that I have just created. And I'm going to pass also the email, which is going to be user.email. And here I need to add an equal sign. And here it needs to be a question mark. Perfect. So now this is going to be whatever I'm going to return back to the user. So here I need to add the send email functionality. I'm not going to build this send email functionality, but we're just going to imagine this is going to be the email functionality. And actually, just to make it a bit more simple, I'm going to return OK. And this OK is going to return a new object. And these objects going to return the code and the email, just so we don't have to create email functionality and all of that. So I'm just going to put token equal token basically and user or actually email equal user dot email. That's it. And this is what I'm going to be returning. So basically what I'm doing here, I'm validating the user. I'm checking if the request body is valid, generating a token. In the real case scenario, I need to send it through an email, but for now we're just going to be returning it. Great. So let's try this out. Let's go to our browser. And basically I'm just going to keep this under fresh. Now we should see an, a new endpoint, which is going to be my forgot password. If we click on try it out, we can see it's requesting an email. I'm just going to 
put my email here and remove the password and here now I should receive a code with an email in the response so we, as we can see I got my token and I got my email okay perfect so now what I want to do is I want to create the other endpoint which is going to take this token and the email and the password and actually reset it so let's see how we can do that if I go back to writer and stop my application after this I need to create a new endpoint and I'm gonna call this I'm gonna give it a route I'm gonna call it reset password and this is also gonna be an HTTP post HTTP post and it's gonna be also public async ask I action result and it's gonna call the reset password and this one is gonna take the reset and here I misspelled reset spell it correctly reset request DTO. I'm just going to make it request here and now let's create this DTO and if we go back here we create a new one reset password request DTO and it's going to be quite simple it's going to contain two property the first one is going to be the token and the second one is going to be the email and we're going to say initialize to empty okay great so now that we have these now we can actually utilize them inside my application so first of all I need to validate my model so I can put if not model state dot is valid I'm just going to return bad request. I'm going to say invalid payload. And now that I validated my payload, I can actually start working on the resetting of the user's password. And I forgot here the password that the user is going to be sending. So here we need to add a new one. And this is going to be the new password. Okay. So now that we have this, now let us update it here. Now let's find the user. I'm going to put var user equal await underscore user manager dot get user or find user by ID by email actually find user by email and I'm going to pass the request dot email and I'm going to say if user equal equal to null I'm going to also send the bad request or invalid payload now that we have checked that the user exists what I want to do right now is I want to actually start by resetting the password of the user and the way I do that is going to be pretty straightforward so I'm going to put var result equal await users manager reset password async and if we take a look at the request body we can see it's taking the user the token and the new password so the user we already got the token we have it from the request and lastly the new password also from the request and now we're going to do the check so we're going to say if result dot succeeded we're going to be returning okay password reset is successful and we misspelled reset is successful else i'm going to return a bad request gonna say something went wrong okay great so now that i have this i can run my application again go to my web browser and what i want to do here is i'm gonna refresh first actually yeah let's do the full process we can see here now i have my reset endpoint as well so we're gonna start first of all by registering so i'm gonna put my name email i'm gonna put muhammad at f1.com and this is my password here so register we got to confirm our email so let's confirm it now try it out put the code and put the email now click on execute we got the email confirmed now what we want to do is we want to log in so let me take these and if we put it here we should be able to get my jwt token okay perfect now what i want to do is i want to reset so i'm gonna click on this one i'm gonna click on reset and we can see it's requesting the email so let me just copy my email which is pretty straightforward muhammadatf1.com and i'm just gonna put it here and now we were able to get the token and the email again confirmed now if i go to post it's gonna require all of this information so let me start with the email first and let me copy the token that i got and lastly i'm gonna put my password so i'm just gonna change it to something more I'm gonna put one two three password one two three something like that so now reset we got reset has been successful the password has been reset successfully now if i take these two and try to log in with them and let's go back to the login page if i log in with this one i should get unauthorized invalid credential perfect because it has been updated now if i go here and put the new password and I click on execute we got the token okay great so within this example we were able to actually achieve the full life cycle of resetting the password and basically enabling the user to update it if you have any question or any clarification please make sure you put them in the comments down below if you'd like to support me please consider supporting me on patreon or buying me a coffee with that said thank you very much for watching and have a great day